Hi everyone, now we will learn in Laravel how we can populate data in input fields from MySQL database table. So let me show you what does that mean after that we'll go to the points. So here you can see that we have a, a edit option with the each of the user in this student list table. So whenever we are clicking on the edit button, a form will be open there and the data is already present there. So that's what we call populating the data in the input fields. And why this is important? See whenever we want to edit or update any details of the user or students then if the details are uh, already present then we can easily identify what changes we want to make there and then we can update it if the all input fields are empty then it's hard to identify like what changes we want to actually make there so that's why we are actually populating the data in the input fields while we are updating or editing the information for uh, any document or you can say that any data all right so what we need to do for that first we have to provide edit option in the table then we will make route and controller function we don't need to make a controller file there we just need to make a function then we will get the data from table with the behalf of id then we will make a html form and populate data in the input fields and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions this is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, job and interviews. You can access this playlist from the description box of this part. Alright, so now let's move to the code and first let's give the edit option in the table and let me refresh this data. I actually removed all, the, all of these things. So now let's move to the list student.blade.php and let me create there one more link. And there, let me provide the edit uh, rather than the delete. And after that, the edit as a text also. And now you will find we have the edit button there. But right now, we don't have any route for this. So let's move to the web.php and create a new route. So let me put there route, get, then delete. And there we can provide id so that we can delete uh, we can get the details of user on the behalf of this id and then let's provide student controller colon colon class and then provide detail and uh, there we have to put a comma also uh, let me see what's the issue is there yeah we have to put close this uh, array also now uh okay there is a one more thing we have to just make it edit yeah and then let's go to the student controller file and create this edit function and we know that we are passing the id so let me just print id for a moment return dollar id and uh, let me refresh and whenever i will just click on the edit you will find that okay so this url is not working reason being i already made one more mistake there which is i just need to put their edit yeah so if i just uh, click on the edit now you can see that we are getting the id for the users and you can uh, verify the id is there like for sam we have the id 11 right and if i just click on the peter the id should be 2 and here you can see that the id for peter is 2 perfect so the now the thing is on the behalf of this id we have to get the data uh, for the user uh, for the student from database so what you need to do for that so just take a student variable and uh, then just use a student model there and use find function pass the id inside this and find function actually worked only on the behalf of id and get the uh, provide the detail uh, for the student so if i just return their dollar student you will find we have the all the i details about the id you can see that these are the peter's details so let's say I'm just clicking on the John, then it should be the John detail. If I just click on the Sam, it should be the Sam's detail and here they are. So the now next thing is we have to populate this data in the uh, HTML form. For that we have to create a new view. So let me create their PHP, artisan, make view and view name is let's say uh, edit I guess we can mention or edit student we can mention this is uh, much better yeah after that uh, there you can see that we have the edit student so let me call the view there and uh, passing there edit 
student view name and in the second parameter let's take dollar as a data as a key and dollar student as a value right so now let's open this edit student and let's provide the uh, one html tag there you can mention update student details or something and if i just refresh this now you can see that okay we have to start php artisan server again and now you can see that we have the view file there but uh, we have to just create a form first so let me create a post form action will be nothing for now because that will do in the next part right now we are just populating the data you can use csrf token after that uh, you can take a input field and the name will be the name only placeholder we can add that will be let's say enter name or something and if i just refresh it now you can see that right so we we are just pass this detail as data in our edit student right edit student dot blade dot php so there what we can do value use double quotes then double uh, curly braces and just simply put there student uh, sorry that is data actually data and then uh, name and you will find there we are getting this name there so let's say we are we want to update the data for john then we have the john name only because right now we just created only one input field right put semicolon at the last and then use 2br so that we can maintain some space and just make three copy of this now change name to the email id then enter email id we can mention and email similarly for last one we can say that phone phone and there we can say that uh, phone all right so now you can see that we have the old details there if we just go for the sam still we have detail uh, for peter we have details for everyone and at last we have to create one button also so let's create button and uh, you can say that update or update student or edit student and better is just mention their update details and now you can just create one link also for list and uh, there you can see that cancel and if i just refresh this and just click on the edit now we have this cancel button also if we go to the cancel it will take back to the list and this is how we are working right so that's all like how we can populate the details in uh, the html input form and in next part we will update the user details with the help of this form thank you so much for watching this part if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thanks guys thanks for watching this and this is my paytm number for donation